time to enter to this very important topic which is the units of force we use in international system and in the English system which of course international system makes a lot of sense English system it makes a little bit sense but it's kinda very tedious to work with so I will definitely recommend you to use the system, uh, international system even though you are an English system user so for example in the international system we have one newton which is defined as one kilogram per meter divided by second to the second power okay the kilogram force is a very interesting concept and it's actually a concept also used in the English system is the force exerted by one kilogram of material so for example we know the force applied by a material is mass times acceleration so if we have one kilogram and we accelerate it 9.8 meters times square second to the second power you will have 9.8 newtons so actually the kilogram force is 9.8 newtons you could say one kilogram force and you should know that this is 9.8 newtons the thing here guys is that in the scientific community and everywhere any place in the international system speaking countries we use 9.8 8 newtons, we never say 1 kilogram force and even though we may use it, it's kinda, let's say, archaic the most common one is either 10 newtons or you say newtons or pascals per meter square, whatever the thing right here guys is that in USA when the people talk between each other, when they speak about force they use the pound force, which means essentially the force exerted by 1 pound or mass for example, you have one pound and you accelerate it 32.17 feet per square second, you will have the one pound force, which is pretty similar to the kilogram force. But the problem here, guys, is that in the SI units, we never say one kilogram force, or at least not when we do calculations. And the problem here, guys, is that in the US, and I don't know which other country use this system they use the pound force when they talk and when they calculate so this value right here will be you need to correct it every time you use pound force okay so just remember guys one pound mass is not the same as one pound force actually there's a 32 factor which is the gravitational constant we're going to see it in the next slide right here so remember guys, one pound force is equivalent to 32.17 pound mass accelerated to feet divided by squares uh, seconds to the second power. So there's a relationship of 32, which is the gravity. So why is it important? Because if you want to use these units, pound force, you need to add this GC. If you want to use pound mass and you're using PSI, for example, you will need to use this gravitational constant so you must be always sure when you need to use the GC which is the constant right here I mean for international system there's no worries because it's one so no no problems one gram per centimeter square second it's one but for American system it's 32 so of course if you have one and you have a, you forgot to use the GC you will have a, a mistake or error of 32 which is a lot compared to the one versus one of the international system. So let's relate this famous pound force to whatever we know. It's one pound mass accelerated to the gravity, which is either 32. Uh, we have the same one pound mass. The gravity is 9.8. Well, recall that we don't use meters and uh, in the international in the English system we use Fit. So then guys, probably you've been following the course in YouTube, you probably have seen that there are plenty of videos on the mechanical energy, energy velocity to friction, pumps, but eventually you go and check out in the playlist that you don't have the complete material and that's because the complete material is actually in this website, Incompressible Flow Course. 
So once you get here, you got all the theory lessons right here in this tab, course theory. Let's see, for example, the mechanic energy equation. And then you will be able to see how it's structured. For example, the overview of the block. You start with the theory of all these are sections. So for example, let's go and check out why mechanical energy equation is needed. You also got an introduction to this section. You got, for example, also this class, class seven, right here. Uh, you got the description of the class, written description, you got the video, high definition video, and you can also ask any question right here. So for example, what is that in minute seven or whatever your answer is, or question actually. You got recommended problems here, all those problems in block AFD. And it's very important also, we got a content of 15 hours, so that's pretty awesome. If you want to check it, you should register for an account and you will get access to all this material. Let me change that to fit, we can see meters go with meter and fit stay. So this is the famous 32 I was talking about, one pound force is equal to 32.70. If you wanted to show it in international units you have it one pound mass you keep the good work and you will if you use this factor you will find out that this is the equivalent so one pound force is about 4.4 newtons so I would not recommend you to learn this by heart so if you're using international system perfect forget about everything I just spoke to you uh, if you're using English system, guys, mm, uh, sorry for you. You either learn to work with the GC, the gravitational constant, or learn this value right here and change everything to internal system, international system, and change all your other equations. So this is very important, especially if you're using the English system, guys. So once again, my personal recommendation, either you are SI user or English user and you have a problem which has English units, will be change everything to international system and forget of the gravitational constant value because it's equal to one. Oh, let me just give you a little insight of who is the people that is using actually the international system is everything green so just USA is not using it I think it's Libya or Liberia I don't remember this one and Myanmar or Burma and of course Antarctica because it's technically not a country but all other little countries that are in green we use the SI system which is beautiful easy to calculate and to make reason of it Actually, it's very common, guys. I was when I download, downloaded this uh, picture, I was asking myself what type of system do they use? They use the Burma system, and this is, has nothing to do with the course, but it's kind of like a random fact. The traditional Burmese unit of measurements are still used in Burma or Myanmar. So, according to the CIA, Burma is one of the three countries that do not use the international system units one being USA and the other one I think is Liberia here so if you want to know a little bit more information on these crazy systems go and check out this link and we're done this was a free preview if you want to get full access go to my incompressible flow course the link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance if you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you were for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance if you were studying positive displacement pumps the video is right here you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.